Okay, let's see if I can keep this under five minutes. Recap! Wow, it got surprisingly hot this week. My brain is fried and my ideas are all over the place. So what I want to begin with is that darn cricket. <laughs> I actually did go up to the door that I thought it lived in just to see if I could find it and then maybe like scare it or capture it at the very least, maybe even kill it. But turns out that it's not in the door, it's up in the roof which is fun because that means it just exists. I, I, it's too high for me to reach. And if I were to get a ladder during the day, it doesn't make any noise. So I can't locate it type of a thing. So it's a, re it's a really frustrating sort of like, if I will, if I do end up doing anything towards the cricket, it has to be at night. Anyways. This week, Wednesday was probably the most chaotic of all of them, and it just had the most that happened. Drove up to the hospital so I could sign the release form papers and have, you know, and transfer from wheelchair to the car that I was driving. Health check is good. Everything's fine. Then we were driving, you know, back from the hospital, there was a massive freight train that just decided to pull up and block off like so many cross or so many crosswalks or intersections. But luckily we sort of know the area well enough that we sort of remember that there was a bridge off, you know, off the way that we could go over the train and then hit the freeway on the other side. And the whole ordeal, driving to the hospital, dealing with the hospital, and then driving back, it all felt like it was like an eight-hour excursion. Like, it was just so... <sighs> and then I have the ladder in here. So there's the lamp and a camera stand that I'm just too lazy to move. And the ladder down here is only in here because we had the heads up that the roofers were probably going to come around again so that they can install uh, the like rain gutter kind of thing that goes over doorways so that when it rains, you know, it doesn't just waterfall in front of the door. It actually like hits and then diverts off to the side so it goes around the door instead. But that never happened, so the ladder just sort of exists here. So that's fun. And let's see. So, oh, on things of progress, I plugged in my headset finally. So we've got the blue light of on and the white light of ready to do stuff. Jumped in. Tried to remind myself how, how a lot of things work to see if anything needed updating or if anything um, had updated since it was off. Jumped back into Unity, which was weird after their little publicity fallout. <laughs> Did some arm chopping off of some more avatars and I reminded myself that there is an error that I needed to figure out why it pops up. So one of the avatars has this toggleable knife that when you toggle it on it'll pop up in the palm and then you can close the character's fingers to give the illusion that you're hanging on to this knife but it's really attached to the palm. So when I edit the character so that the arm is off to reflect my current controller situation, which is still broken, uh, the knife no longer pairs with the palm anymore. It instead thinks that the character is like in T-pose so that the palm is like way out here somewhere. So when I spawn the knife, it pops into existence in just the air over there, even though the hand is in fact in front of my chest or something. So I don't know, it's weird, but it's homework that I get to do, you know? Just something to investigate and find out why is that happening? I, I can't think of anything else really. Um, yeah, that's 
pretty much it. Um, but now my horizons are clear after Wednesday, really. So I get to sort of, and I don't see anything else popping up anytime soon, so I can start filling it with whatever shenanigans that I want. And I think I'm going to get back into the practice of vlogging. I don't know about daily vlogging, but um, I really need to work on my transitions because I want to sort of tie real life vlogging with like a VR type vlogging, you know, just like jumping through different worlds and stuff like that. But I need to work on the transition so that there's interesting, tra you know, cuts between real life holding a camera and digital. There's a camera somewhere off in the distance over there. So we'll see. I don't know. But that's kind of what's on my mind. This week has also sort of wiped any sort of past ideas out of my head. I can't remember what they are. Uh, I'm going to go back. I could go back into the recaps and just sort of refresh my mind. The only thing that really stands out is the charity work that I still need to sort of plan and figure out if people are available to help me with that. So that's it. I'm going to try to edit this down to be not six minutes and we'll see how that goes. Okay. So thanks for checking in and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.